Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. And today, oh, I'm so looking forward to today. I'm going to venture into the blue castle, the last castle that I have to go into. And if it goes okay, I'm also going to fight against the end boss. Now, I got some advice, good advice, to first, you know, attack some more people, try to get some more copies of the Power 9 and all that stuff. I've decided to ignore those uh, advices because I want to go into the castle, man. I want to see what happens after I defeat the last wizard. But it is the blue castle, so I'm really worried about power struggle. I really hate power struggle. So I'm going in there with a deck with a lot of disenchants. Hopefully I can draw into them. But we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, Tim the Enchanter. Let's have a look. Where's the blue castle? I'm here at uh, Aloran Hall. There's the blue castle, really close. This is my deck, by the way, so I'm playing 70 cards. I've decided to take out black, even though it's really good with the contract from below, so maybe that's a mistake. Uh, but I'm going a little bit for a different strategy, but we'll uh, we'll see. I'm also boarding in, by the way, blue elemental blasts, because a lot of you told me that the end boss plays with direct damage, so I want to use that to counter the direct damage. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the village, we're going to go to the blue castle. Continue, gents. Uh, you encounter a beast monster. I'm gonna leave quietly because I just really want to go into this blue castle. Yes, enter the castle. Ooh, a flood is in effect. I'm so happy that it's a flood and, you know, that it's not a power struggle. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I see some dice. I see lots of opponents. Go for the dice. Ooh, I get extra life. That's nice. And a question. Which of these spells has the flying ability? Nether, Shadow, Cyclopean, Mummy, Black Knight, Wall of Spears, Mahamoti. I think the Mahamoti, right? It's a, it's a no-brainer. Um, I got some treasure. Do I really want to go after the treasure, though? I mean, I'm here to, to beat the wizard. You know what? I'm going to take another dice. Okay, more life. Lots of modis. Hmm. Even more life. Didn't see the dice there. Let's do a question. Which of these spells requires one white and one colorless mana to cast? That's a circle of protection red. Obviously. <clears throat> Ooh, there's treasure there. But we can't reach it. Lots of treasure, but I don't see the uh, blue wizard. Which of these spells has flying ability? Angry Mob, Warlord, Tempest of Freed, Shadow Din Dryads, or the Dancing Scimitar? The Scimitar, of course, 1 5 flyer. Oh, is that the wizard? Can I just walk to the wizard, attack the wizard? Um, You know, I want to do that, but I also have dice here. So maybe just get the dice. Ooh, but if I want to get the dice, I need to beat this dude. Hmm. I mean, I am starting with extra life. I can do this. I can beat. Let's, you know, let's go take on the wizard. Oh, I encounter Astral Visionary. Surrender for free? Oh, man, that's not great. At least I'm winning the flip. I definitely want to play first. Okay, I got a sorts. I got a sorts. Ah, uh, uh, no problem. Play of planes, pass a turn. Let him take the damage, then I'll sorts. There we go. Gonna play a planes. I mean, the rest of my hand is not really good. I've got land, sorts, supply shares, and a Sarah. Ooh, Black Lotus. Is he going to crack the Lotus for like Air Elemental or something? That would be pretty good. Howling Mine. I love this man. Howling Mine. I love it. Bring on the extra card draw. That is ideal. Um, I guess I can disenchant the Flood. I can disenchant the Yoshin. But for now, I'm just going to pass. I mean, he is playing with blue, right? So he probably has uh, control magics as well. So I'd rather use my disenchant for that. Ooh, 
Ooh, another one. Mm. I can play library. Draw an extra card with the library. Okay, Wrath of God is actually quite good. Um, I am going to disenchant the flood. Because I don't want to discard a card and I want to play Wrath of God next turn. Double attack. Oh man, I'm on 26. I mean, he could counter, of course, the Wrath. That would be good for him. Okay, I got a control magic. Uh, let's see, nine cards in hand. Um, let's go planes. Don't auto tap this one. Um, I'm gonna try to play the wrath. Let's see what happens. Counter spell. Okay, fair enough. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do anything at the moment. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I guess I'm just gonna pass. Draw a card in his end step with the library. Oh, an unstable, that is good. That is good, fast effects, let's draw a card. Okay, let's see, what do we have? Ooh, Modi, Time Walk, that is really sweet. Um, so I could go strip mine. Um, I mean, I think in this particular case, I'm gonna use my library actually for mana. Let's see, because I wanna cast a Sarah Angel first. One. And then the double planes, and I wanna keep my swords. No counter magic, okay, I'm gonna pass. Oh, I don't want to discard. I wanted to cast the swords. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, just going to discard the planes. That is stupid. That is why I used the Loa. Anyway, so I didn't have to discard. Anyway, a land's not a big deal. Still in a good position. Ooh, Stasis. Hey, but Stasis is kind of nice. Oh, jeez. That is not great. Okay. Um, sorts of plowshares on the ocean. Because he wanted to cast an unstable on there, right? Okay, at least another planes. So I can play the planes and I can play the other swords. But look at that, he's completely tapped out. Oh, that is not smart, my man. But it was a boss move. I love that um, twiddle on the Sarah and then play the stasis or the other way around. If you hadn't played the second stasis and the unstable, it would have been in a much better position. Um, I think I'll just swords. Let's play a, a disenchant on the Howling Mine. It, it, it hurts a little because I love the Howling Mine. But I mean, I'm drawing extra cards anyway with my Loa, so. Um, let's take an extra turn with the Time Walk. Turn, draw a card, uh, play an island, draw an extra card. Loa, so good. It's oh, it's overpowered everywhere, also in Chandelar. Let's attack. I mean, the wizard has a lot of life, so it's gonna take a while, but next turn I can hit him for nine. Oh, time twister, that's cool. What a boss man. Um, okay. Let's play planes. Um, draw a card first. Let's attack. I'm just gonna play another Modi. Why not? Counterspell, okay. 
Hmm, that was stupid. <laughs> uh, just draw a card, play an island, draw another card. Ancestral Recall, it's just insane. Um, let's go and attack. Let's be a little bit smarter this time and play Protocol Sorcerer. Let's see if he wants to counter that one. Nope. Um... Do I have enough mana to end play? Sarah, I think I do. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, that one he counters. Okay. Um, I'm going to pass. I'm going to play Ancestral Recall on this end step. So that would mean now. Let's go Ancestral Recall. Let's see if he's going to counter this. Nope, he's not. Okay. Let's play an island. Um, let's If I attack, I win, right? So let's do that. This is going very easy, by the way. I thought it would be a really tough dungeon with power struggle, and this would be a very annoying or annoying but difficult episode to make. But, yeah. So far, it's easy. You have defeated the dreaded Blue Wizardess. No longer shall our evil creatures oppress the good people of Shandala. Celestine Shrine freed. Eloran Bazaar freed. You may take any three. Um, can I also take power? I guess I can't. No, there's no power in here, is there? Um, I guess I could take a volcanic eruption. Yeah, what do you need really? Do, 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 do. Maybe take a stasis? A stasis is, oh yeah, there's stasis in here. Sure, do a stasis. I mean, it doesn't matter. I really don't need these cards. Mm -hmm. Take another blue blast, why not? Oh, you've defeated all five wizards. Chandelar is free. Prepare to face the final challenge. Oh, your battle so far will banish the evil planeswalker Arzakhan for 1966 years. Each life it loses in the final battle will banish it for an additional 10 years. Okay. Let's duel. Oh, now I can change my deck still. I didn't know that. Um, do I want to make any changes? You know what? I'm good. I'm going to just go in there. 300 life. I didn't know you could change your deck just before the battle. I forgot that. That's just good information for next time. My ante is a moat. Okay. Um... Tundra, I got a really bad hand, by the way. I mean, I got a time twister, but trike, lance, and a time twister. I guess it's not that bad. Like turn three, just play time twister and go for it. He's got a black lotus and a celestial prism. What a boss. Mm, planes, passes a turn. 300 life. Okay, this is this is tough. I'm already afraid for like the burn spells, you know, that the burn spells will come. Should I wait and play my moat next turn and then the time twister? I'm gonna do that. I, I feel like moat could be very useful in this matchup. A hurl jackal, yeah man, if I got my moat, you can no longer attack me with your hurl jackal. Ha ha ha. I'm so good. Get ancestral recall, wow. I definitely want to play Ancestral Recall before the Time Twister. <laughs> I guess you want to play the Time Twister when your graveyard's kind of full of stuff. Mm 
Okay, so let's cast this one. Oh, power sink. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's why it's the end boss, of course. Got the moves. I didn't see that coming. Hmm. I'm still a little bit surprised that that blue castle was so easy. That went really quick. There's a black mana battery. Um, let's go with Island. Let's go with Dancing Scimitar. Let's go with Felden's Cane. Let's pass. So Felden's Cane is one of those cards that I'm playing because he's got 300 life. So I want to make sure that if I'm almost out of cards, I can just shuffle my graveyard back in and basically start the game over. Works together. Ooh, wow. Works together really well. You know, Desert uh, Time Twister with Felden's Cane. Anyway, there's the Desert Twister. Let's see. Let's flip over to the face, right? Uber villain. I'm playing. Who are you? Who are you playing today? I am playing the Uber villain. That is so funny. Okay, I got a Modi. I think I'm gonna first do a trike. Let's see what he does. Okay, okay, trike lips. Okay. We'll do, we'll cast a Modi next. Hopefully, it doesn't get countered. Love this black mana battery, by the way. The art by Anson Medix, phenomenal, phenomenal. There's the hive. Okay, the hive, the hive's kind of good against the moat. Go for planes, cast Modi. Right, no counter magic, hardly has any mana open anyway, but still. Um, pass turn. It's going quite well so far. The problem is I haven't dealt any damage to him yet, so. Hopefully I can swing in with the Modi. Oh, I love this. I'm gonna go library. I'm gonna time twist. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, Argivian Archaeologist, sweet. I got the combo now, Archaeologist with, let's first draw a card, because I'm a good magic player, draw a card. Yes, please, then we go Archaeologist. Yeah, okay. Now I've got the combo, people. Eat this, Uber Villain. Here I go, attack the Uber Villain. Protect Shandala. Uh-oh, what's he doing? A fog, dude. He is so good in not taking any damage. Um, I'm gonna pass. Whatever, man. Ooh, Black Lotus. I just, I always really love to combine power cards with like mediocre cards, like Black Mana Battery and Black Lotus in the same deck. That's so cool. I once made um, a Homeritz deck fully powered to try to make the Homerate work. That was funny. Uh, okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm gonna do? And then it's gonna kill itself. And then I'm gonna show you the magic. Let me first play a Sapphire. Sure. Let me draw a card. It's a disenchant, okay. Then I'm gonna use the ability to get back to Trike. I'm gonna play the Trike. Tap one, that's a Sapphire. And then I'm going to cast, hmm, let's do Strip Mine. And I'm going to attack. Yay, I dealt damage, finally. <laughs> oh man, this game is funny. <clears throat> he makes a wasp. I can kill the wasp with the trike. Let's do that. Let's kill, deal a damage, kill the trike. Take on my turn. Um, let's play the Black Lotus. Done. Um, then we need 
library separates. Don't auto tap. Gonna draw a card. Mm, let's first just attack with the Modi. See what he does. Okay. I'm gonna play eight planes. Gonna cast the Modi. There we go. Um, what to do next? I guess I don't have to do any. I can use the archaeologist on end step because I'm not gonna cast the uh, the trike anyway. Ooh, lots of counters there. I mean, what I love about the black mana battery is using it in combination with drain life. So maybe that is his big plan. I mean, he is the uber villain. He's not a normal villain. He's the uber villain. Ooh, COP green, eh? Yeah, this uber villain dude knows what he's doing. Mm, okay. Let's play planes. Let's play, oh, let's use the library. Almost forgot to use the library. Pray the trike. There we go. Kill the wasp. You're in for a lot of pain, uber villains. Go, Modi! Yeah, ba 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 ba, Papa Modi. Oh, I'm loving this, man. Attacking with my Modi Jin, that's like almost the best thing you can do. Maybe the only better thing is pinging on end step, but it, phew, this is awesome. Another wasp token, eh? Okay, let's kill these two dudes. Oh no, 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 I'm making a mistake. I should put that on the, now I have to basically disenchant my own creature, oh, stupid. Stupid, 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 but I will. Um, tap one, tap one, target. Got back trike. I mean, I need the trike. I keep need to do that, you know, because it kills the hive tokens. Draw a card. Play the trike. Ooh, that is smart. But I can only attack with the Modis and I was planning to do so anyway, so. Ooh, even more dead. Look at him go down. He's on 269 life. Wow. I wonder how long this match will take. Oh, it did kill my uh, archaeologist. Oh, that sucks. That is really bad. I got my Felden's cane. I can shuffle it back into the deck, but this is a little bit concerning. Another mana battery. Mm -hmm. Play planes, do the Loa, draw a card. Scimitar, okay. Kill the wasp. Let's attack. That's actually really good, that moat in combination with um, Siren's Call. I need to remember that. That's gonna be a forgotten combos. Forgotten combos. La 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 la. More mana for him. He's in 259 life. I mean, he could just play a huge fireball and kill me out of nowhere. He's got a lot of mana now. With the black mana battery, how much is on there? Can I can I see that somehow? Okay, there's a brass man. I really feel like I need another disenchant. I should have disenchanted the um, the hive, perhaps. Okay, there's a Sarah. Let's kill the wasp. Let's attack first. I mean, look, he's going down quite fast, right? Let's play Dancing Scimitar first. Maybe he's got counter magic. 
If he does, he's not using it. Paz is a ton. I mean, how many counters does he have on the black mana battery? Is there a way to, to see that? I'm going to try. I'm going to try to put it more in view. What a lot of people forget, by the way, is that you can also just tap your black mana battery for a mana. I mean, it's still four to cast, but it's also a mana rock. Uh, black mana battery. Okay, look at that. So he's got four counters on there already. That's pretty good. Okay, blue elemental blast. I'm oh, forgetting to draw a card. Uh, so I'm getting sloppy now. I need to stay focused. This is the uber villain I'm playing against. In case you're wondering who I'm playing against, let me show you. It's the uber villain. <laughs> I love that. I love that name. I can I can imagine they're sitting there, you know, micro pros who's developed the game. They're like, okay, but then you have the end boss. What do what do you name the end boss? Uber villain, right? Yeah, of course. It's a no-brainer. I like these counters, these energy counters. I think, do you think Pokemon kind of stole the idea here? They already called it the charge counter back in the day. Nice. Another wasp. Oh no. Oh, this this is becoming problematic. Oh, a scimitar as well. I guess I can destroy the scimitar. Oh, forgetting to draw a card again. Ah. I would like to apologize. I'm playing so stupid. Maybe I need to talk less and focus more on the game. I'm gonna pass the turn. I mean, he's got a lot of wasp tokens now. That's a bit problematic. I'm sure I'm going to draw into another disenchant. Okay, so I've got seven cards in hand. Let's now finally remember to draw because I already forgot for two turns. There we go. I'm a good magic player. Um, I think I'm going to sort the dancing scimitar. I could also steal the scimitar. Maybe that's even better. I'm going to steal the scimitar. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to attack now. Let's see what he does. Okay, okay, that's good news. Um, let's play at the blue elemental. Oh, sorry, the Mamo the Jin, I mean. No counter magic. Okay, pass turn. I'm feeling good. I still think he's gonna, you know, kill me with like a fireball. I can counter it, of course, with one blue elemental blast, but I kind of get this feeling that out of nowhere he's gonna gonna kill me, counter the blue elemental blast away or something and fry me. Okay, yeah, you take mana burn. I appreciate it, man. My biggest concern, by the way, is that my computer is gonna crash because this is gonna be a long game. So I'm on seven. Again, I'm going to be a good magic player and draw a card. Okay. I'm going to play planes. And I'm going to attack. Let's check. I love this running rat here in the bones. It's so funny. Okay, he's not doing anything. Okay. Taking more damage. I love I like it. I like it. He's on 180. Oh, mind twist for seven. Um, is there anything I can do? Um swords swords blue elemental blast. That's all I can do, really. Hmm. That is dirty, man. Mind twist. Well, I've got a Loa, so I can can't complain too much. Hmm. This is far from ideal, this scenario, but hey, I'm just going to keep attacking. You know, I'm hitting him for a lot every single turn, so it's like 15, 19, 20, what, 22 damage? Yeah, 22 damage, so 
I'm not going to play anything out. I'm just going to go back up, hopefully, to seven. Hmm. What I'm hoping for is that at a certain point he'll put like four wasps in front of the Sarah. Then I can use my last trike counter to kill one of the wasps and then also kill the all the wasps that is that are blocked by the Sarah. That's kind of the big plan. So this is 19, 20, 21, and 22. Let's go. Hmm, it looks like he's too clever to block already. I mean, he can also decide to start swinging in with the wasps, you know, at a certain point. Is he also taking damage from the Urk Raiders, by the way? I think he should, right? We'll see. Yeah, he's taking damage. Nice. That's perfect. Uh, ooh, new trike. Ho, 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 ho. I got to play out. The, I got to do it. I got to play out the trike. Don't counter it, please. Don't counter it. No counter spell. Cool. Um, Mamodi, 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 Sarah, Scimitar, Scimitar, Scimitar. Let's see, he's not blocking. I always like am afraid that there's a blocking situation happening on the other side of the screen. Okay, good. So far, so good. Life is nice. I mean, we've got a few issues for sure. I mean, the big fireball is still a scenario. I can just die. But I almost have him to 100 lives. You know, that's pretty cool. Hmm... Taking more damage. Okay, I've got a Swords as well. That's kind of nice. Swords is also a good spell for life gain, right? Let's attack, see what he does. I feel like he is preparing some kind of Alpha Strike with the Wasps. Right? I mean, look at our boards. They're like chunked. They're so full. Okay, control magic. I guess I could... I don't really want to play anything out, do I? I'm just going to attack. Just going to be super patient. Keep attacking and just see what he does. Look at that. He's just taking the damage, okay? I'm not going to play anything out. I want to go to the 7. But I felt like the trike, because it's so good with the counters in a blocking situation, I wanted to play that card out, but I'm not going to play anything else. Another wasp. Wow, he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 wasps. That's pretty scary. A wall of dust? Not so scary. Okay, let's see. Uh, ooh, a brain guy. That is really good. A brain geyser is really nice. I can play a huge brain geyser. Uh, I'm not gonna though. I am not going to. I'm just gonna keep attacking. He's got to block at a certain point, right? Okay, he's on 44. Okay, past turn. You can see that he wants to start getting aggressive, but because he's creating the assembly workers, but he cannot attack with it anyway, so he's a little bit confused maybe. Oh, there's a time walk. Wow, that is really good. Um, let's go Mishra's Factory. Let's go time walk. Let's see if that resolves. It does. Okay, then we're going to go Brain Geyser. One, two, three. Uh, let's see, how much are we going to Brain Geyser for? This one, this one. Let's Brain Geyser for seven. Why not? Ooh, 
Look at that ivory tower. Yes, please. Play out the tower. Play out the spirit link on the Sarah Angel. Well, let's attack first. It's really hard to kind of keep a grip on this game because I've got so many cards. The game is going in every, you know, there's so many stuff on the board. Okay, he's on 20. Wow, we're getting really close now. Um, and I'm going to go take an extra turn. I guess I've got to play this, Sarah. Oh, one white. Oh, I didn't. I don't have a white. I got it. Do I have to use? Let's do cancel, and maybe I can play control magic instead on the wasp token. And then let's take my extra turn. I guess I should also draw a card because of the ivory tower. I'm going to gain more life. Oh, that's stupid. I wanted to do... Oh, man. It's so hard to kind of keep the the overview. I'm going to just discard a Mishra's because they're not that helpful. I guess I'm going to gain extra life. Um, going to play a Sarah Angel. Going to draw a card because I can. Ooh, a time walk. Going to play a time walk, obviously. I'm going to attack. So Sarah, this one, this one. Why not with the wasp? Why not? Who cares? Um, Scimitar, there's another one. Yeah, because I've got three modis, right? Okay. He really doesn't want to block with the Hive. Okay, now he's going to do it. Uh, what else is he blocking? That's it. Okay. Well, I guess, I mean, he's negating 10 damage. So it makes sense. Um, He's on 7. Wow. Okay, so I this could be the last turn, right? Okay, I'm going to kill some Wasp Tokens, I think. How many does he have? Quite a lot. But I think if I... Let's do this first. And we'll see how it goes. Kill another wasp. Uh, let's use... Draw a card. Let's go into my draw step. Okay, so I'm going to disenchant... The hive, where is the hive there? Okay, I'm going to sorts to plowshare as a wasp. I feel like I can win this. I'm going to sorts another wasp. And I'm going to attack. Let's do this. Sarah, Angels, Modis, Wasp, Modi, Modi. Go for it. Maybe he's got a fog. Do you have a fog? Oh, yeah. Yes, life is good, people. Ho, ho, ho. I honestly didn't expect to, to beat the uber villain that easily. I guess my deck is really insanely overpowered. I mean, I knew that, but a lot of people told me, like, you're going to get a fireball out of nowhere, and I am playing it, I think, on the highest level, so I was expecting that to happen, but yeah! Woohoo! I'm also a little sad, because it's the end of the campaign, but hey, life is good. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like me to do another Chandelar run, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, I will consider doing it because I'm definitely not done playing this game. I just want to like do another campaign with other colors, maybe 
you know, try to make a deck without power and see if I can also make it this far into the game. That would be quite cool. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to make another Chandelier series for now. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, please consider sponsoring me on Patreon. Check out patreon.com slash Timmy Talks. I think this is the first time I'm actually mentioning my, my Patreon channel for the Chandelier series. I should have done that more often, I guess. Anyway, thank you for watching and uh, have, have a great day. Enjoy. Yeah, I beat the game. Yo, life is good. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Just think it is somebody.